Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's weight capacity comparison, we will be taking a closer look at the Facebo standing desk versus the very electric standing desk. Now, if you haven't seen these videos before, we like to look at three specific weights and compare each desk performance with those weights. So the first weight that we're gonna look at is 100 pounds. The second will be a max of the Facebo product at 149 pounds. And then finally, we'll be maxing the very product at 260 pounds. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the test. So before we start the first test, let's talk about the setup. As you can see, each desk does have some cinder blocks applied to it. The Facebo surface is pretty light, so we do have three cinder blocks to the two on the very, plus additional dumbbells to get us to the weight of 100 pounds. What you'll wanna look for, we do start the desk at the same sitting height and at the same standing height. Watch how each desk will perform through that range of motion, and especially as we add more weight to the desk surface. With that, let's go ahead and see how each desk performs here with the first 100 pound capacity comparison. For our second test, we'll be maxing out the Fazebo product. If you remember, this has a max capacity of 149 pounds. We've got the same setup on the very product. Let's see how each compares at this weight capacity. For our third and final test, we'll be maxing out the very product. Again, this has a max capacity of 260 pounds. If you look at the Facebo product, we still have the 149 pound capacity on that desk. So what we're doing is a max first max. Like we've said in many of these videos, if you've seen them before, we don't wanna overload intentionally so that we don't wreck the desks. Again, if you do that consistently, there likely will be some issues and that's why many of these brands do have their dynamic rating on their desk which is when a desk is in motion. And that leads me to the next part, which is something about the Facebo that is a little bit interesting compared to other desks. They actually have a static load that they recommend on their desk as well. This is 193 pounds. So again, not very significant over what they consider to be a dynamic load, but because of the thinness of the top and the fact that it's a two-piece top, and through our testing, we found that that is a safe number that you really don't wanna go beyond because some things do happen with flexing in the surface. Screws do come out if you go beyond that with the flexing. So with that said, let's go ahead and compare each max versus max and see how those desks compared at 260 versus 149. Hopefully this weight capacity comparison of the very versus the Facebo electric standing desk gave you a better idea how each desk performs with the various weights that we applied here today. Through testing, it was very obvious that the very product is a closer product to a commercial grade than that of the Facebo, with the Facebo really only being able to lift 149 pounds and not very quickly. That's probably not a great option if you're looking to consistently lift heavy capacities where the very product will be a much more consistent option. Does that mean that it's not a right fit for you? That really just depends on your specific needs and how you'll be using your standing desk. If you like this video, please help us out, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these future standing desk videos that we keep putting out. Thanks a lot for watching.